<laughs> I've had a lot of fun in this truck. But the donut I just did was the most fun I've ever had. Welcome back to Goldberg's Garage. Today, the 2022 Ram 1500 TRX. Let's go! Close your eyes and envision you're in a 702 horsepower Hellcat powered vehicle and you suddenly open your eyes, you're in said vehicle, but you're 13 inches off the ground. You're in a Dodge Ram 1500 TRX that just so happens to be the coolest car in my collection. Let's go have some fun. For a guy who loves high horsepower vehicles, high torque vehicles, V8s, I just absolutely love this thing. Okay, a lot of settings. We're in sport right now. So sport changes a lot of the inputs, whether it be the tranny, the shifting points, the steering, the suspension, everything is altered. You have a number of different settings. You have snow, you have tow, you have sport, you have auto, you have mud, you have rock, you have Baja, you have custom. So you can set a custom setting up to your liking. This thing is an absolute beast. It drives, I don't know, like you're sitting on your couch. It's pretty impressive to take off of this vehicle. We're gonna do it from a stop. speed here and I mean it's it's pretty sick but I mean the sound of this vehicle and the response I mean the supercharger just continually whining it's just like being in a Hellcat powered car right but again you're in a truck off-road action when they came out with the TRX, I thought that the Challenger was my favorite vehicle until I drove this. This is literally the first time I've ever taken this off-road <laughs> intentionally. I did a, an event at Demolition Ranch and I inadvertently took it off-road, but uh, this is the first time intentionally, and I'm really enjoying it already. Well, it's a good thing I washed this.
because now it's fucking filthy. Okay, what we have in front of us is a 2022 Ram 1500 TRX. Everybody knows that these things are absolutely badass coming right off of the showroom, but I always have to do my little massaging to them. Paint has been wrapped. It's got uh, Expel PPF, kind of made it a satin finish. The second thing that I did was I reached out to ADD for bumpers. So I got an ADD front bumper, ADD rear bumper, and an ADD skid plate for the front. Nice bumper like this is not gonna be complete and an off-road vehicle is not complete without proper lighting. So I reached out to Rigid. Rigid hooked us up with a, I think it's a 40 inch light bar for the front bumper and a 50 inch light bar for the Ram bar that I purchased. I stuck with the original wheels initially. I moved up to a 20 inch HRE wheel, 37 nittos on here, went to a 12.5. It gives you more of a sidewall when you're going off road. Obviously you need that. You got the running boards moving towards the back. We've got the ADD rear bumper. We've got the Magnaflow five inch exhaust tips. We've got the Magnaflow X mod exhaust system on here obviously you can hear that we got some fog lights we got some spotlights in the back from rigid expel tinted the windows and that's about it I've had a lot of fun in this truck, but the donut I just did was the most fun I've ever had. And I'm gonna do it again. This truck is so much damn fun, I, it should be illegal. <laughs> this thing is an absolute trip. I'm, I know I'm going to blow my tire. Come on, don't blow your tire. I don't want to end up in the pond. It's just too much fun. Well, that does it again for another episode of Goldberg's Garage. You know the drill. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Whatever you guys want to see on the channel, throw in the comment section. And until next week, Goldberg, over and out. What a shitty day. You got to drive a truck, haul ass, burn some rubber, shoot some guns. Love it.